Selenium is a micro-mineral that is essential for multiple functions within the human body. It appears to be helpful in treating acne and dandruff. It seems to protect us against the toxic effects of heavy metals and other substances. People with adequate selenium intake have fewer adverse effects from alcohol and cigarette smoking. Autoimmune diseases and recurrent illnesses or infections may be helped by restoring adequate selenium levels in the body. Selenium can help us prevent disease by increasing our resistance. Selenium also is required for the thyroid to produce T3, aiding in the regulation of vital bodily functions. Selenium is a part of a nutritional antioxidant system that protects cell membranes from lipid oxidation. A group of selenoproteins have been shown to prevent chromosome damage in tissue cultures. They prevent or slow down the biochemical aging process of tissue degeneration. Selenium has been found to have an anti-carcinogenic effect. Its levels in the blood or tissues may correlate more closely with cancer risk than those of many other substances. Where selenium is abundant in the soil or when it is added to the diet, these conditions are associated with both decreased cancer rates and decreased cancer mortality, especially regarding breast cancer. In the U.S., high breast cancer rates are associated with areas of low selenium in the soil. The western states generally have higher selenium levels in their soil than eastern states. South Dakota has the highest levels and Ohio has the lowest levels of selenium. Ohio has more than twice the rate of a number of common cancers than South Dakota does. With most of the amazing functions selenium provides, Vitamin E is often right there working alongside it. Vitamin E and selenium work together synergistically as an antioxidant team to fight degenerative diseases like cardiovascular disease and cancer. A person might experience the following if their selenium intake is more than 400 micrograms a day. Heart problems, weak tooth enamel, skin inflammation, nausea, fatigue, and dizziness. Acute toxicity signs are fever, anorexia, gastrointestinal systems, liver and kidney impairment. Some signs of a selenium deficiency are eczema, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, cataracts, alcoholism, infection, low thyroid hormone production, and kidney disease. There is some evidence that metals like arsenic and mercury can become more toxic in the presence of a selenium deficiency. Selenium deficiency also increases the risk and rates of certain cancers, as well as strokes and other cardiovascular problems. Keshen disease may be a direct result of selenium deficiency. This is a form of heart disease prevalent in children and discovered in Keshen, China. A common herb grown in this area that is typically high in selenium was used to treat the children who responded very well to it. The recommended dietary allowances of selenium for adults over 13 years of age is 55 micrograms. Most fish and shellfish contain high amounts of selenium. Selenium can be found in grains like barley, oats, and brown rice, vegetables like garlic and onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, and broccoli. They're all high in selenium. Brazil nuts are amazingly high in selenium as they accumulate selenium from the soil. We only need one or two Brazil nuts a day to receive our recommended dietary allowance. It is very important to eat a variety of wholesome foods in order to get adequate amounts of selenium. Ultimately, it depends on the level of selenium in the soil that our food is grown in. This is why it is really important to know where and how your food is grown. Choosing locally grown produce and getting to know the farmer and how he or she takes care of their soil plays a huge role in how we receive enough selenium in our diet, as well as other vitamins and minerals.